What's up everyone, Take Down here. I'm Ashley. And we are back today with another munch pack. Let's get right into this. They actually gave us something as a bonus. I've never seen them give gifts, if you will. But uh, it is this silicone straw that says munch pack on it, which is really cool. This is a little book inside it will tell you everything that is inside uh, where the snacks come from. What they used to do for the snacks is each snack had a label that said where it's from, but this is way easier for them to do and it makes more sense. I'll actually just give you that. Okay, <laughs> so the first thing, I don't know what it is. Um, I'll let you look into the book here. That is this Tohado um, caramel corn. Ohio caramel corn, yeah. So that's from Japan. Japan? Yeah. Okay. Has all Japanese lettering on it, so it does say caramel yeah. corn, and that's all that's really in English. So I can read the little a bit yeah, about sure. it. A uh, crunchy and delightful puff corn snack from Tahado that tastes like caramel popcorn with peanuts. You'll finish the bag and wish for more with this snack that's perfect for everyone. Uh, this is definitely not what I was mm. expecting it to be. Of course, it's not going to really focus on it. So, um, smells smells like peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, it smells uh, very peanut forward. Let's just try it. Mm. Tastes like a uh, Captain Crunch, kind of. Not at all. Really? Yeah. It, it does. tastes um, tastes like a regular corn puff, but with like a caramel peanut butter uh, flavor to it. I don't it's, know. It kind of has the consistency of Captain Crunch. I don't know why, but it does. I don't know. I like it. Um, we also didn't explain how we're gonna rank the things, but I like this. But it's. Probably not going to be my favorite thing in here, so... I don't know. What what would you rank it at? I guess um, we're going to rank it out of 10, is that yeah. okay? Yeah, we'll rank it out of 10. We'll rank it out of 10. Um, for me, I'm going to say... I'm going to say a 4 out of 10. It's good, but it's not the best that I've had out of Munch Pack. That's why um, I'm rating it that way. I'll rank it a... I'll rank it a 5 out of 10. Right 5 now. out of 10? Yeah. How about we do this one? It okay. says Hawaiian Punch Candy Jellies. That looks really cool. Mm -hmm. So we'll uh, try it there. Oh, it shows different flavors on the back. There is uh, fruit juicy red, orange orange ocean, lemon berry squeeze, berry blue, and green berry rush. A lot of berry flavors. So there's no berry blue, but uh, I'm just gonna go with a uh, regular orange. You guys can't really see. It's not really focusing today. Let's see here. Yeah, not really focusing on the stuff that has a lot of texture on it. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna go with the green berry rush. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try here. Good quality gummy. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. It tastes really flavorful. Um, when it comes to gummies, there's good gummies, there's bad gummies. This is a really good gummy. It is really good. Texture wise is great. Um, there's not too much sugar coating the outside of it, making it like a grainy one. We've had that in the past munch packs. Mm -hmm. um, and flavor's amazing. I'm gonna rank this 10 out of 10 for me. Like, and I don't usually rank candy really high. This one for me is a 10 out of 10. What do you think? I'd say nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Um, I'm gonna go with this uh, one thing that I've seen on it. it says it's a pastry, uh, Delizia pastry cream. It literally just looks like a pastry here. Of course, it won't focus. There we go. Uh, where's this from? Uh, I'm gonna see. say uh, UK. Uh, it is from Italy. Oh. Yep, I just found that on it. <laughs> That's cool. So here's what it looks like. Um, I, I'm not even sure what kind of pastry it is. Um, mm -hmm. The picture kind of looks on the package like it could be lemon, but mm -hmm. it could just be a nice cream. You want to take the first bite here? It looks really good. The crunch. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. not getting any cream, but it's good. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it doesn't look like the uh, picture where there's a lot of cream. Tastes like a strudel, kind of. Really buttery, flaky, which is really good. Um, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. It almost tastes like a buttercream inside, which I love buttercream, so. I'd say that's like a 10. That's you really good. You think that's good. a 10? Yeah, that's really good. Jeez. I'm gonna give it like a nine. Yeah? Yeah, 
It's Haiti Baked Potato Flavor Biscuits. It's from South Korea. Okay. It, it looks exactly like uh, Pockies. Mmm. Which is not what it looks like in the, uh, the picture on the box here. It looks like this, so it kind of looks like it would be, uh, I don't know, peanuts in a way or something. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's Pocky. It's mm -hmm. Pocky without chocolate or anything on it. Oh. Here, you grab one. It looks like just pretzel sticks. Um, I'm not sure if there's a flavor. Yeah, it doesn't really say much on the package. We're gonna give it yeah. a try. Buttery. Um, not a pretzel, more like a cracker. Flavor of baked potato and buttery flavor. Okay. It's not, uh, not really salty. Not super savory though. It has a nice crunch. This is this is a great snack. These are easily an eight out of ten for me because they're good. I'd say maybe maybe a six. They're good. They're just kind of boring. The next snack here, um, I'm gonna go something that looks very interesting. The name is hide and seek choco rolls. Hmm. I'm gonna say this is oh, it focused there for me. I'm gonna <laughs> say this is the UK or something similar, um, um, but I'm not sure. India. India. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a snack from India in a munch pack before. Maybe I had the odd one, um, but none that I remember. So this is really cool. So you do get six of these kind of, I'm going to say they're, they're bigger than what most things you get from munch yeah. pack are and you get six of them. The smell is amazing. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells like brownies. Yeah, I smell like uh, kind of like cookie dough and chocolate. It smells like real chocolate. Like mm -hmm. it smells amazing. Let's just give it a try here. It's really good. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Has yeah. a nice crunch, but still kind of soft with that nice smooth chocolate. I'm gonna rank this one 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> I like it. What do you think? I say nine out of 10. Nine out of 10? Mm -hmm. um, I keep eyeballing one thing in here, so I'm just gonna grab it. What is that? It's, I don't even know how to pronounce Mubon it. Mubon roll? roll? I'm not sure, but. Yeah, I'm gonna split it in half actually. You have one. Inside it looks a little flaky. That looks like it's gonna be really good. You wanna try it? Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm hmm. Do you get a, pin a, a hint of peanut butter? A little bit. Yeah. Like, Subtle. Oh, uh, the hazelnut's not overwhelming. I wish it was a little bit more impactful. Mm -hmm. Chocolate outside's great. Mm. The flaky wafer part looks it is amazing. This is really good. Mm -hmm. This might be my favorite one so far. Really? I'd have to say 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Mm -hmm. It is really good. I'm gonna have to say 9 out of 10. Okay. There's something with it that's throwing it off for me. I still really like it. So the next snack, let's just get it out of the way. It's something that we've I think both have had before. I've done videos on this before. And it is Pocky, but this is cookies and cream Pocky, which we absolutely love everything cookies and cream. I've had this before, absolutely love it. Have you had this before? I think so, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, these are a little bit different than the Pockies I've had before. I thought the stick was chocolate as well before. Mm -hmm. um, I could be wrong, I might just be forgetting, but ready to give it a try? Mm -hmm. Good as far as pockies go. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's good. It's, it's still not my favorite. I'm still ranking this pretty high. I'm gonna rank this eight out of 10 for me because I love pockies. It's just, I can't get this first place right now. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I'd say, I'd say eight out of 10. Eight out of 10? Well. So for the next stack, we're gonna do this one right here. I'm not um, even sure what it is. Not really sure what it is. It looks like it may be. I think a, it's like a hard candy, like a sugary yeah. candy. So inside there is this little sticker or uh, it could be like a temporary tattoo as well. Um, there's Japanese writing on the back, which I don't know Japanese, mm -hmm. so I can't tell you. But uh, that's really cool that that's in there. Mm -hmm. Here it is, it's in the same shape as the uh, tattoo. It looks like uh, it's gonna have a chalk consistency. You know how some sugary candy has that kind of consistency? You wanna take the first bite? 
<laughs> we haven't had anything bad in this whole munch pack. This is an amazing munch pack. Hard. <laughs> yeah, it sounds... Sugar? Yeah, very like sugary. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. A lot of sugar. A lot of sugar, yeah. Ugh. I want to rank it so much higher than I'm actually going to rank it. I think I'm only going to rank it like a uh, 5 out of 10. It's not something I normally would A, purchase or enjoy to eat. But if I was in Japan and I seen something like this, I'd give it a try. Mm -hmm. I'd say like a 3 out of 10. 3 out of I'm 10. I'm not, not a big fan on that kind of candy. So The next thing is Yummy Gummy Sour Rainbow Cables. Mm -hmm. um, I... I've said this before on Munch Pack and other videos, I hate sour things, but sometimes these are good. So here's what they look like. They kind of look like the, uh, you know, sour belts that we have over here. Mm -hmm. I'll let you pick yours. They're just rainbow all around. All pretty much the same. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah. That's You're probably going to like it though. It's sour, right? Maybe. I love it. Good. I absolutely love these. I like any of the rainbow uh, sour candy because I don't find them actually sour. So this could get first place for me. These are really good. Yeah. Huh. I could finish this whole tray right now. <laughs> That's how much I love them. They're sugary, very sweet, but it all works together. It's not, they're not sour at all to me. I hate sour things. So that's, that's doing good for it. Um, where would you rank it though? Well, I think I'd have to say 10 out of 10. Really? Yeah. I really like them. This here, I'm going to rank it 10 out of 10. First place right now. We did have four candies tied for first place because I think one got 10 out of 10, one got 9 out of 10. These, both of us say, are 10 out of 10, so it gets first place. This munch pack was amazing. We have one snack left. Let's give that one a try. So the last snack is something that we usually save to the end because we usually rank them high and they normally get first place. However, we already have something that we believe is gonna be first place. So we're gonna see if this video is gonna have two first place snacks. So last but not least is these chips. And I already know, I believe they're from the UK because on the back it says crisps and that's what they call it. So am I right? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's from uh, United Kingdom. Okay. okay. so. Uh, chips always, we always rank high. We love chips as opposed to other candies. So mm -hmm. this is what our go-to snack if it's us. And it's sweet chili flavor. So mm -hmm. who knows? This could get uh, two first places in this video. Let's open this up and try them. As soon as I open them, the smell is really good. I think we're going to like the flavor. I'll let you pick first. They look kettle cooked, yeah. which I've been really on a kick of kettle cooked chips. I love Miss Vicky's. They look amazing. Good. Yeah, look at the flavoring on that. You don't uh, always get that over here in Canada, North America. <laughs> Usually they go really light on the seasoning. So, yeah. are you ready? It's mm -hmm. mm. good. So many different flavors going in my mouth right now. Um, wow. So, the sweet, I'm getting a little hint of sugar. Mm -hmm. Just plain sugar. Um, it's not overpowering. The uh, chili, you get a nice flavor of chili. And the crisps themselves, it's almost like a french fry flavor. So mm -hmm. everything is amazing with these. Want some more? Mm -hmm. Wow. This is why I love saving the chips to last because usually we rank them so high and these are the highlights of the munch packs for us personally mm -hmm. i just want personally a big bag of these <laughs> yeah they're really we're gonna good. have to go to the uk and find these like <laughs> um they're not over spicy so people that can't deal with spice i think would absolutely love these um yeah they're not too spicy they're just the right amount of flavor and yeah spice instead of it. chili as a spice and a burn it's as a flavor in this chip which is amazing mm -hmm. <sighs> wow I'm going to rank it 10 out of 10. Me too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Chips, we always rank high. We love chips. We like getting chips as our snacks. So whenever we get the munch pack, we save chips to the end because we love them. So 10 out of 10. So, so far, that is the best munch pack I think I personally have ever gotten. Like, I have usually have one or two snacks that I think are kind of gross. This one here, we did uh -huh. rank some snacks kind of low, but nothing was gross. Yeah, Everything honestly, I think every snack was good. Mm -hmm. 
Like none were really bad in my opinion. Whole box for me is gonna be like a nine out of 10. Yeah, I would say eight or nine out of 10. Best box I've got from Munch Pack, hands down. Yeah, and you got the bonus gift. Yeah, which... I forgot about that. We got this really cool silicone straw that says Munch Pack on it. And that's honestly not something that I expected was a free gift, if you will. So that's really cool that they did this. For this video here, we have in first place the Piper's Chips, which are amazing. We yeah. absolutely love chips. Mm -hmm. And we also have a sec another second place winner, and that is these rainbow, they're supposed to be sour, um, I don't know, straws or something. They are yeah. amazing. They're not sour at all. Very flavorful. I absolutely love these. So comment down below if you guys want to see more Munch Pack from us in the future. I personally think we're going to order some more and do them every so often because they're a lot of fun and I love whenever you're on the channel. Mm -hmm. And I love editing these videos also because they're just a blast. So <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take care and stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Bye.